Well, good morning. Happy Monday, Scouters Mountain students and staff and our families who are catching this online on our school's YouTube channel. Great to see all of you again. I hope all of you had a wonderful weekend. It is Monday, May 16th. Can you believe that? We're already in the second half of May as we approach June in our last month of school. Great to see all of you here. Lots of smiling faces coming in the doors this morning. Hope all of you had a wonderful weekend and are ready for an exciting week ahead that includes a special kind of a secret spirit day coming up this Friday. I'll tell you more about that in just a few minutes. But let's get a gist on what's going on this week. What is going on this week, Mr. Long? Well, May is Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, as it has been all month long. We've got lots to celebrate. Lots of you turned in papers about Pedro Flores the person who made the yo-yo famous. There's a bunch right here from Miss Fleming's room that I've been going through. Lots of others. Some whole classrooms turned them in. I'll have a new Asian Pacific Islander person for you to research this week. And like I said before, a special bonus spirit day this Friday. We're going to celebrate a very special person at our school. And it's kind of a secret. So I kind of hope she's not watching these morning messages. We'll see if she does. Did you know about our used book drive? We talked about that at our Friday Howl meeting. We do have a used book drive going on. There's the poster of the, the picture that I took right off the window. We have until May 23rd, so that's in a week from today, and we're bringing in used books, used children's books that maybe you don't want at your house anymore. Maybe they're too easy for you. You don't read them anymore. Maybe you have a little brother or sister who doesn't use them anymore. There's the boxes that are right by that window that leads out to recess. You can drop them off in there and hopefully we'll get lots of used books in there. There they are right there. So you can get lots of used books. We'll see if we can overflow those boxes. Remember to ask your family first. Don't just bring a bunch of books from home. Make sure that you ask your family if it's okay to donate those to a family who maybe doesn't have any books and they would like to help their children uh, learn to read a little bit better. So hopefully that is going on. We can do that this week. What else do we need to know this week? No Friday Hall Assembly this Friday because we just had one last Friday. However, like I mentioned before, this Friday, instead of wearing your scouter shirt, we're going to be wearing something different. What are we going to be wearing, Mr. Long? Well, I want you to do your very best to wear purple. Purple? Mr. Long, why would we wear purple when our school colors are green and white? Why would we wear purple? Why would we do that? Well, that's because of that wonderful person right there. We all know Mrs. Bell. It's very exciting news for her, but kind of sad news for us. Mrs. Bell is retiring at the end of this year. So shh, don't tell her if she's not watching these morning meeting, these morning messages. But on Friday, we're going to wear her favorite color. Everybody in the school can wear her favorite color, which is purple. So we're going to wear that on Friday. So do you have something at home? That is purple. Hopefully you do. If you don't, maybe you can find something or maybe we can uh, find something here. You could make a little button out of something that's purple that you could put on your shirt. But we're going to wear purple on Friday. Don't tell Mrs. Bell. We'll see if she finds out somehow. But we're going to wear her favorite color and honor one of our people who is retiring. The other one is Miss Smith. We're going to do something special for her next week. So next week, we'll do something special for Miss Smith. We'll have another special spirit day, and we'll try to keep a secret for Miss Smith. But right now, shh, don't tell Mrs. Bell. But this Friday, we want to wear purple and surprise Mrs. Bell by wearing her favorite color. That should be super fun. Who's celebrating a birthday this week? Well, we have quite a few. May Ray Chen from Miss Boswick's room celebrating a birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Ray. So is Kate Johnson from Miss Fleming's room. Tyler Chan from Miss Ireland's room later this week, as is Caleb Fernandez. A lot of first grade birthdays along with Ray's. Also celebrating a birthday this week in July. It's kind of their half birthday because we won't get to these. They'll be in the summertime when this comes around. Not going to do morning messages in the summertime. So let's make sure we recognize Maya and Ben and Hibba and Madison and Cash, who are all celebrating a birthday this week in July. Also celebrating a birthday this week in July would be Sam. So happy birthday to all of those people just a little bit early. Let's see, it's May, so two months early. But happy birthday to all of them. And to Kai. I almost forgot Kai and Lucas and Caden and Emerson. Gosh, do we have more this week in July? We might, do we? Yeah, we sure do. Celebrating a birthday this week in July will also be, oh, that's right, Emerson's sister, Sawyer. So Emerson and Sawyer, both in Mr. Lee's room. Happy birthday, just two months early to you. All of them celebrating a birthday in July during this week. So if you have a birthday next week in May or in June, 
We'll get to those. And we'll also get to those August birthdays once we get to June as well. Oh, Paxton. I almost forgot about Paxton. I thought I was done. So Paxton also celebrating a birthday that day. Happy birthday to all of you. All right. Mr. Long's weekly challenge this week. Remember, it is Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We are selling, we are celebrating people who have Asian and Pacific Islander heritage within them. So it was very exciting last week when we got to see all of you learned about Pedro Flores and why he was important. We learned lots about him. Let's look at this. There's one from Harry in Mrs. Ria's room. He wrote a big long list. There's just a couple of them. And you can see right there, he wrote a lot. While working as a bellboy, Flores read an article about a self-made millionaire who made his money by selling a ball attached to a rubber band. Well, Pedro Flores took that idea, and as we know now, he turned it into the yo-yo and became a millionaire uh, marketing the yo-yo, making it famous. Here's another one right here. This is Liliana. I always enjoy hers because she draws a nice picture at the top. You can see she writes, Pedro Flores was born in the Philippines, but he moved to America. He is known as the inventor of the yo-yo. His yo-yos could do tricks. Nicely done, Liliana from first grade, Miss Hatchell's room. And then we have Kipton in Miss McCoy's fifth grade, who writes, Pedro is very important because he made the yo-yo very popular. The word yo-yo means come back. He does not want to be known for being the creator of the yo-yo because he did not make it. He made it popular. That's right. Good point, Kipton. Thanks for keeping us straight on that. So Pedro Flores, someone to certainly study and celebrate for Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So what is going to be our person and who is going to be our person this week as we continue to celebrate this? Here's your chance to earn five HAL tickets. Do you know who this is right there? Who is that? Who is that person and why is she important? Well, I will tell you who that is. That is Maya Lin. What makes Maya Lin important? Well, that's for you to figure out. You tell me why Maya Lin is important in our history. She designed some very, very famous architecture. That's your hint for me. I'm sure lots of you will be looking that up. And some of you, I know I will get your three to five sentences within the next hour. Some of you are so quick on that. So remember how to earn your five HAL tickets. If you're in kindergarten, first or second grade, I need at least three sentences about Maya Lin. If you are in third, fourth, or fifth, I need at least five. But some of you do a lot more than that to get your five HAL tickets for this week. So let's find out more about Maya Lynn. All right, before we move on, I always like to show some fun scouters, photos, and videos. Let's see what we've had come in in the past week. Now we had tons of classy lunches. First, let me show you some buddy reading going on. That's Mrs. Webke and Mrs. Olson's classrooms reading together. That always warms my heart to see the older kids and younger kids working together. So great job. I see Anderson and Caleb reading together over on the right. I see Sana and Angelina and Aiden all on the left-hand side. Lots of people reading to each other. Great to see all of that. Now, we had lots of classy lunches. So all of these people, and I didn't get pictures of everyone, Issa, Dylan, Danielle, Liliana, Holland, Isaiah, Zoe, Henry, and Clara all celebrated a classy lunch this past week. Look at that giant burrito that MJ has over there in Isaiah's classy lunch. Excellent. And we had some other ones as well. There's Clara on the left. Okay. There is the group from Mrs. Ria's room. They had me go buy them lunch today. You can see they had five guys. And some of you are finding it very fun to make silly faces when I try to take your picture. All right, Atlee, Sloan, and Daria, here you go. So if you want to make silly faces, there's a close-up of them. There's Atlee, there's Sloan, and there's Daria. Maybe that'll teach you to make silly faces so you can have everyone laughing at what you look like. But it was fun serving you lunch. Keep turning in those HAL tickets as the school year runs out. We want to make sure and get those in. I have lots of orders for classy lunches and for me to go buy lunches. All right, let's wrap up today's show as we always do with the joke of the week. And speaking of Mrs. Ria's classroom, Lexi Brown submitted this one. Let's hear what Lexi has to say. Let me make sure I have my volume turned up so you can hear Lexi. And here we go with our joke of the week. All right, take it away, Lexi. What's a baby's first word? What's a baby's first word? I'm not sure what a baby's first word would be. Goo goo gaga, uh, Mr. Longa. I don't know. What would a baby's first word be? Not sure. All right, Lexi, take it away. What would our baby's first word be? Hmm, what is a baby's first word? Wah. Oh, you tricked me. Not an actual word. 
Of course, a baby is crying when it is born. Wah would be in first words. Very good. Lexi, there's wah with a lot of A's hooked on the end of it. Remember, if you have a joke of the week, you can submit it to me from home or you can ask me to video you or maybe your teacher will do that. I do have a few queued up that I can still use, but can always use more. Always love seeing you telling the joke of the week. Great job, Lexi. If you want to mail it in, there it is. The email address right there, long C at inclac.k12.or. US. Some of you have asked me, what's the C stand for, Mr. Long? Long C. Well, of course, the C stands for cool because your principal is cool. That's for sure. All right, let's move ahead. That is the end of this week. I hope all of you have a super week ahead. If you are sticking around to do the Pledge of Allegiance, we have a very special group who is leading that. If not, and you've already done that or you're going to do it your own way in your classroom, we'll say goodbye right here. Have a super week ahead and can't wait to see you around the building. For those of you who are sticking around, the Pledge of Allegiance will begin in three, two, and one. Who is leading our flag salute today? Well, that will be Miss Rowley's fourth grade class. So everyone get ready. There is Miss Rowley's fourth grade class right there. So listen closely as we get them started. I'm going to get started too. Make sure you face the flag and listen for the cues from both Connor and Logan. Here we go. All right, here we are in Miss Rowley's room. They are ready to lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance. So listen closely for Connor and then for Logan, and we'll all follow along. Go ahead, Connor. Please stand. Okay, all right, everyone, nicely done. Stand. No, not yet, go. not yet. Everyone Give standing. them time to stand up. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, Miss Rowley's room. Thanks for volunteering. I'm sure we'll get another classroom for next week. All right. Great job, Miss Rowley's room. Always like seeing the Pledge of Allegiance. Let me turn down my volume. As we move ahead, that ends this week's edition of the Morning Messages. Get ready for a fun week ahead. No assembly this week, but a special shh, secret spirit day. Don't tell Mrs. Bell about that. We'll wear our purple on Friday. Keep turning in those Howl tickets. Let's see what you find out about Maya Lin as we continue to celebrate Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Have a great week ahead, kids. I will see you in the hallways and on the playground in just a few moments. <laughs>